New at Daybreak, a procedure new this year at one local hospital is changing the way the doctors repair blocked arteries in the neck. It's called TCAR, transcardioid artery revascularization. It's reducing the risk of strokes during surgery and it's leading to faster recovery times for patients. Roger Burke's large scar reminds him daily of the surgery he endured in 2007. After Roger had a heart attack, doctors cut into his neck to remove blockage in a carotid artery. This past April, um, went for my yearly ultrasound and it came back that uh, we had quite a bit of blockage. That new blockage in the same place meant another surgery. But this time, um, doctors at Ascension cool. Columbia St. Mary's yeah, performed a TCAR procedure. Where, it requires uh, just a I small could. incision in the neck. This procedure gives access directly to the carotid artery uh, from a, a very short distance to where we need to go. While a surgeon inserts a stent into the artery, blood flow is temporarily reversed. Instead of going towards the brain, blood flows away from it. That guards against any plaque floating into the brain and causing a stroke. Medicine has tried for years to try to minimize the risk of stroke during carotid artery procedures. Uh, and this new way, uh, TCAR, seems to have the lowest risk of stroke. And one added perk for patients, recovery time for people like Roger ends up being much quicker because the incision is so small. With this surgery, I had it done on a Thursday, went home Friday, and went back to work on Wednesday. Now Ascension started performing the TCAR procedure over the summer. The doctors we spoke with said it was just FDA approved in the U.S. within the last two years, so still relatively new, and they just got a new hybrid operating room there, which they've been using uh, to do this procedure wow. in as well.